What's up everyone? I just finished making this giant kid Goku rug. In this video, I'm gonna show you every step I took to make a larger, more detailed rug like this. So the first thing I need to do is prep my frame. I stretch my tufting fabric as tight as I can from all sides. I just wanna keep it tight throughout the entire project. This just makes it easier to tuft later on. I've already created the design in Photoshop, so now I can project and trace the design onto my frame. I like to start with the outline. After I load the cup pile machine, I'll touch over the lines that I've traced out. I take my time just to make sure every line has the same weight to it, because good line work is extremely important, especially for larger detailed pieces like this. Now I can start filling in all the colors one by one and bring Kid Goku to life. Now it's glue time. This carpet adhesive keeps all the yarn in the tufting fabric. I spread a generous amount with the spatula over the entire rug. I make sure to go a couple inches past the edges to help with the backing process. I use a high tack glue which will come in handy later on. After letting the glue dry overnight, I can finally start on the backing process. Uh, I'm just going to cut slits around the border and fold over all the edges. This is where the tacky glue comes in handy. It's a lot easier to do waterfall edging. So ignoring how messy my studio is, I'll pre-cut and lay down a piece of non-slip backing onto the rug. I like to hot glue one side of the non-slip to keep it in place while I spray adhesive on both sides to attach the back. For something this large, I like to do it in sections, this way I don't get glue on the rug when it's curling over. Always wear a mask when you use spray adhesive. I always like to open a window too just to clear it out before I get back to work. I like to hand roll this baby out on all parts just to make sure the backing comes into contact with the bottom of the rug. I add the rest of the hot glue to the perimeter of the rug just to make sure everything is like nice and solid and then I cut off all the excess non-slip so I can begin trimming. This heavy and expensive machine is a weighted trimmer that levels out the surface of the rug. You can tell the top is uneven and shaggy. After I hook it up to the vacuum, I can run it over the surface a few times to clean everything up. The lines are looking pretty rough, but I have the tools to fix that. I use a bent pair of surgical tweezers to separate the colors throughout the whole design. From here on out, it's three full days of trimming with my small clippers, which takes a lot of time, but the results are 100% worth it. Last step, and one of the most important, sign your piece. Every hand tufted rug is an individual piece, and you are a goddamn artist. Seven days later, I finished one of the more detailed pieces I've ever made. Uh, you can really see how the trimming process transformed the look into clean lines and solid shapes. Really happy with how this turned out, and I hope you enjoyed this and learned a little bit about why my back hurts. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Subscribe for more in-depth vids. We're, We're cooking, cooking up. up.